Okay, what I'm about to show you is crazy. Uh, we are going to construct the nine point circle. And how do we do the nine point circle? We are going to start out randomly with three points. I'm going to highlight those three points and I'm going to form a triangle. And three of the nine points are going to be the midpoints of all the sides. So I just constructed those midpoints. Oh, excuse me here. I just constructed the midpoints of all those sides. And that's what we call um, three of the nine points in question here. And so what am I going to do next? Well, the other points are going to be formed using um, um, the altitudes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that point in that line and construct a perpendicular line because that is an altitude coming from that vertex. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other two vertices. I am going to form that altitude right there, that perpendicular line. And I'm going to do one more. And notice when I do one more altitude, that's actually going to form a line of intersection as well. And we know that line of intersection is the, the, uh, uh, the orthocenter. So what I'm going to do right now is showcase where the altitude and the line intersect right there. And I'm going to say, hey, give me a point of line of, uh, give me a point of intersection. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other altitudes and these sides in here. And I'm going to say, find that point of intersection. And I'm going to do the same thing for this particular altitude and that line as well. And now I got three more points altogether. So I have six points, which I'm about to label right here. Here is my original one, A. Here's another one of my midpoints in here, that's B. And C is my other midpoint. And then I had three more that I just constructed. I had this one right here. That was the intersection of the altitude on that side. That's point number four. I have this one right here. That's point E. That's another intersection of the altitude and the side. And I have this last one right here, this intersection of that altitude and that side as well. So what I'm going to do to start to clean up this picture in here is I'm going to take all three of those altitudes and I'm going to hide them because we don't need them anymore. But I did leave this orthocenter right there. So I'm going to show that label right there and then change its name. And I'm going to label it to be the orthocenter so we can really keep track of what these points are. So to recap, we're trying to build a nine-point circle, and I have six of the nine points so far. And um, let's see, what do we have? Uh, I am also going to clear things up in here. I'm going to try to um, just change the properties of these lines in here, the style of these lines. Um, and I thought I was doing that. Hang on, if I highlight those, maybe I have to do them individually. I'm going to say uh, display line width. I'm going to make it thick. Okay. I just wanted to kind of thicken up to uh, showcase that um, uh, that's our original triangle in here. So I'm going to move these points around a little bit. And it's not looking much like a circle right now. And the ortho center is just kind of hanging out. It doesn't look like it's a center of much. So um, we need um, three more points. And it turns out if I just f create a line segment in between the ortho center and that vertex, and then I take the midpoint of it right there, that's going to turn out to be a nice point. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take our length between the ortho center and that vertex, and I'm going to draw a line segment, and I'm going to take the midpoint of that line, and then I'm going to take the center, the ortho center, and that vertex right there, and I'm going to draw a line and it form its midpoint. It turns out we have the remaining three points. So I had A, B, C, D, E, F, and so I'm going to showcase this one as being H. And this one's going to be I, and this one is going to be J. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide these three lines that I just drew. Let's kind of clean things up. 
and maybe you can see it, maybe you can't see it, but it looks like all nine of my points, no matter where I draw my triangle, sometimes they overlap on each other, but if you notice, if you try to visualize this, it looks like they're all forming a circle, but I'm not quite sure yet. Well, I can definitely tell by this picture, the ortho center, it's not quite the center of our imaginary nine point circle yet. Maybe it looks like it is over here, but as I rotate the triangle around, the ortho center doesn't appear to always be in the center. So what I'm going to do here, because the ortho center is related to the center, is I'm going to construct the perpendicular bisectors. So I just highlighted the midpoint and that is the perpendicular bisector. I'm going to do the same thing over here with point, uh, point B and that line. I am going to construct that perpendicular bisector. And if you remember from earlier this week, when I construct all three perpendicular bisectors, they all intersect. And we have a special name of that point of intersection. That point of intersection is called the circumcenter. So I'm going to show label right there, and I'm going to double click on that. That's the circum center. Okay. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to hide those three segments that I just found to showcase. Oops. I think I changed name. This is the ortho center. Right there. And by the way, let me just double check that it's the other center. Yes, that's definitely the other center. And K here, that is the circumcenter. Circumcenter. Okay. So now everything's labeled properly. I got my nine points. And I got these two points in here floating around the ortho center and the circumcenter. Oh, the circumcenter, why did I do that? Well, it doesn't appear to be the center of our circle, and neither does the ortho center, but it turns out these two points, the ortho center and circum center, if you try to use your imagination here, they are really related to the center of our circle that is floating around with all nine of our points. And what would I do to these two special points called the ortho center and circum center? Well, I'm going to form a line between them, and I'm going to find the midpoint of that particular um, segment. And so now I'm going to make the triangle much bigger and maybe it's a little clearer to see what's going on here. And so if I hide that line and just focus on this point and I say, hey, grab that point, grab that point, and I say, hey, construct a circle, center and point. Beautiful. Notice all nine of our points are going through the nine point circle and the center of the nine point circle is the midpoint between the circumcenter and ortho center. Now if you notice this circle is not inscribed, it's not circumscribed, it's kind of you know just floating around through these nine points just hanging out. Sometimes it's um, outside the triangle a lot, sometimes it's inside of it, um, but that circle has no um, no pattern to it in terms of whether it's inscribed or circumscribed. We have other points in other circles such as the circumcenter. Remember why it's called the circumcenter is because that one circumscribes about the original triangle. If you notice that triangle right here on um, um, the triangle and the circle on the outside, uh, that's called the circumcenter right here because that's the center of the circle which is circumscribed about the triangle. So I'm going to hide that and really only focus on our nine point circle. So once again, we found our nine points through groups of three. The first three points were the midpoints of every single side. The next three points were the intersection between the altitudes and their opposite sides. And the last three points were the midpoints between the ortho center and their corresponding vertices. And we connected those nine points with this, uh, we connected those nine points to form the nine point circle. And it turns out the midpoint of the circumcenter and the ortho center 
is the center of the nine point circle. This is absolutely ridiculous and amazing that all of those points formed by the triangle and special segments can actually produce this floating circle which always contains those nine points, hence the name the non nine point circle. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next video.